I really liked Wesley Dodd's Sandman, so let's talk about it using my space system. Story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment, each category gets a score between zero and two. Two's the best you can get. Okay, um, I'm a big Golden Age fan. Um, love the characters. My first ever statue that I bought, big statue was Alan Scott, Green Lantern. My second big one was the Flash of Two Worlds. The statues, like both of them running. Oh, so good. But yeah, Sandman's great. I've got a couple of action figures of Sandman, different color iterations. This is this reminds me a little bit more of Mystery Theater, not Mystery Science Theater. <laughs> Sandman Mystery Theater, which I do have issue one of that from back in the day. And uh, the rest of it I have on digital. I just got number one. But that was a great book. And I'm looking forward to these Golden Age guys coming out. This Flash is coming out pretty soon and Green Lantern. So I'll definitely pick those up and let you know what I thought. Uh, Storyline for this one, I'm going to give it a 1.5. I um, I like the story. There is a little bit, there's a lot of setting up and they didn't really get to the meat of what's going to happen. This is sort of a new comic trope where they're like, oh, we need to have issue one and they'll just get everything set up. I, I give it, I still give it a pass. One is a pass. 1.5 is above a pass. So I'm still giving it above average because I'm interested in what's going on. I would have liked to have gotten a little bit more. Um, they do spend a, a, a little bit of time talking, which is going to get me into the pacing right now, which I'm going to give the pacing a 1.5 as well. I would have liked to have more action in this. There is a lot of uh, dialogue and going back and forth with characters, which I'll get to in a moment. And it's fine, but really, I, I either give me some more mystery, either... Give me more mystery for the story elements or give me a little bit more action for the pacing elements and then you know or give me a lot of both and then we're <laughs> and then we're good um for the art i'm gonna give it a 1.5 i really like this cover that's for damn sure i like this costume i prefer this to the golden age first appearance where it was like the neon green almost um though i mean that's a classic costume i like pages like this like that looks really cool to me this is kind of nice so I'm going to give it a 1.5. I like the art. It does suit this comic. Um, yeah, it suits it. I would have liked to it a bit a bit. I would have liked for it to be a little bit more noir. I'm close to giving it a two on the art. Very close because it does fit. Art is subjective. I'm not saying that the art in this is equal to Neil Adams or something. I'm just saying that for this comic, does it work? Um, and I think it does work, but I'm still going to stick with 1.5 um, out of 2. Characters, 1.5 as well. Uh, Wesley Dodds is great. Like him. Awesome character. You're introduced, you see Rex Tyler for a second. That's our man. Um, I can't remember if you saw. I read this last night. I can't remember if you saw anybody, if there was anyone else. He's the only one that popped into my head immediately. Um, and yeah, I mean, he's got his butler and he got the girl. So it's okay. There's no villain. So I can't give it a 2 because I don't know what the villain's going to really be doing. Um, there's this general guy, he's kind of an interesting character, talking about uh, war. Wesley's developed this gas, uh, the sleeping gas, and he wants to use it. And the general's like, well, that's not really going to work. You put everyone to sleep, then what? What are you going to do with them? So interesting. I like that guy. He was pretty good. So yeah, pretty good. Uh, enjoyment factor, 1.5. I really liked this first issue. For, number ones don't ne necessarily get high grades on my system because the story is only just starting and we don't know what's going to happen. So it's hard to judge. I can't compare this to another Sandman comic because the only ones I've read were, it's like, I think it was like 70 issues or something of mystery theater. And it's kind of that, but not really. So I don't know. And I don't, I haven't read any other Sandman stuff. So it's tough to compare this character's version here versus other versions. So what I'm getting from this number one, it, uh, I like, so let's put it that way. 7.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed this. Well, 100% I'm getting issue two, 100% I'm getting Flash and Green Lantern. So let's hope that this Golden Age stuff really turns out well. I didn't get that Golden Age. There's like some other Golden Age thing that came out. Didn't look very appealing to me. This does, but I will drop titles. If like, if Flash or Green Lantern's getting weird or stupid, I'll just stick with Sandman or whatever. I'm not a completist. I don't need to have every, every issue of the Golden Age characters now. So there you go, 7.5 out of 10. That is my score. What's your score? Let me know in the comments. Until next time.